everyone, today I'm going to do another little product review. I've been, I really love these videos. I say that every time, but I just think it's really important to be able to concentrate in on one specific product and really tell y'all all my thoughts about it. So today's product is actually going to be a very hyped up product, um, kind of a favorite, and it's also going to be a comparison to another product that's also, again, very hyped up and well known. And so today's um, review, sorry, totally just spaced out. It's actually going to be on the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This is in the Black Shade Trooper. And I'm going to compare that with the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner as well. So, let's just go on with uh, the Kat Von D one. It's just in a typical little pin. It does have this silver kind of calligraphy of uh, roses and such. This is a smaller, uh, like a travel size, but the larger one has the same. Um, Kat Von D does all of her packaging and she, you know, she draws it and she's an artist. So that's really cool to me. And it's very pretty. It's got little stars like she has on her eyes. I think she tries to incorporate that in a lot of stuff. So all in all, I think it's a really cute little thing. It is a felt tip liner. It has a pretty long tip and it does taper to a really nice point. The fact that it's in a pin style as opposed to like a pot makes it very easy to just kind of fit in and go. So as far as a swatch, oh wait, y'all. This is definitely a brush tip, 100% a brush tip. You learn things. So this is a brush tip, but I've never had it like flay out or anything. I mean, it's been, obviously I thought it was a felt tip, but just looking at it, I just realized. So here's the color. It's very, very black. It is the eyeliner I'm using today. Now, one thing that I've noticed with this that I don't notice with other liners that does kind of agitate me is I feel like right between, like right at the lash line, there's like a little bit of spot that doesn't hit. So, like, do y'all see like right there? Where there's no liner right there? I don't like that. I hate that. As far as it drying down, I think it dries down pretty matte. Obviously, I'm on a really shimmery eyeshadow today, but I've always found that it dried down very matte and nice. I really like it. I think it's a great liner. I think um, it's easy to use. Um, I've never heard anybody having issues with the like the brushes flaying, but obviously that is one downside of it being a brush tip, but you have a lot of control and it's really easy. Now I'm going to compare that really quick with the Stila Stay All Day. This is a felt tip, 100%, promise. Um, and it's got a little bit of a longer tip than the other. And honestly, I think it's so much blacker. So you see, Stila Kat Von D. Now, as you can also tell, is this is very liquidy, so it can kind of run in your creases. So like, um, oh my gosh, sorry, my nose is all itchy. Um, so like you can tell on my hand, just like the lines in your hand, you know, because you got cells and such, it can run a little bit on that. The Kat Von D doesn't. Also with the Stila, I don't get that little line right here at my lash line. It is completely black. They both dry down really well. I feel like these are the main two liquid liners. People, you know, have a favorite between the two. If you ask me which one my favorite is, it's definitely the Stila. The Kat Von D is great. It's super easy to use. As I said, they both are. However, I find when I'm trying to like make a cat eye and then bring it back in, it just, I mean, it does it, but it's just not quite as easy. It's great. It's black. It's a very nice liner. Uh, if I could get another, I mean, obviously I have the sample, but if it, it becomes a 100 point perk and stuff, I would definitely recommend it. I'm not saying this is a bad liner, but if you're asking me between the Stila and the Kat Von D, which one I prefer, it's definitely the Kat Von D. Oh, I'm sorry, don't know what I'm saying. It's definitely the Stila, 100%, it's darker. It does kind of creep up, but I don't really ever notice that. But I do tend to do a, a like, and I'm going to use thicker liner, or liquid liner. I do tend to do a thick line. But you can just kind of place, with both of them, place it on your lash line. And just do a single line, or you can do a little flick. Or you can do a cat eye. You can do whatever makes you happy. I think they're both great. I think if you can find either one of them as a point perk or on sale or whatever, I recommend them both. But if, if you ask me my favorite, Stila wins. But Kat Von D is great. Um, I, I feel like this is a really short video, but I don't really want to just sit here and talk to y'all for the sake of talking. Um, I think I pretty much covered it. It's a good liner, not the best. So, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, suggestions, requests, comments, any of that. Just go ahead and leave it down below. 
if you um, want to know what's on my face or anything like that, it's also down below. So thank you so much, and I'll see y'all real soon. Bye.